Hey everybody, this is Christian and Nick from Android Unite and today we're going to be showing you guys how to root a Sensation 4G. Uh, Nick, Nick and I are here together in Austin, Texas for the Big Android Barbecue and uh, we're going to walk through this process together. Nick's got a Sensation 4G, he got it ever since he re uh, got released, right? Yes, and I pre-ordered it, yeah. And, uh, and so we're just going to walk through the steps individually so you guys can uh, see exactly what the process is. First and foremost you need to go to revolutionary.io uh, we've got the website pulled up here when you get here you have to scroll down to where the the tool is actually at under downloads uh, you'll see download for windows or linux obviously you're going to want to download for windows i've already gone ahead and done that and saved it um, but when you press that it's going to ask you uh, for a beta key um, and so when you do that you need to make sure to take the the cover off of your sensation and copy down this uh, serial number as well as the hboot version which you can access by holding down your power button and the uh, volume down button at the same time it'll bring you into the bootloading menu and um, you can see what hboot version you've got I know what we have so let me just fill this in really quick I'm gonna go ahead and want to copy this key exactly as it appears because you're gonna be entering it after the uh, process begins, so I'm just going to copy it here and just do something as simple as opening up a new window and pasting it in just for future reference. Okay, put this down. Uh, we no longer need the internet so we're going to disconnect. We were tethering actually Omni is cheap enough that they were going to charge us ten dollars a day so we're tethering. <laughs> yeah. We're going to disconnect that because we don't need it at the moment. I'm going to open up this folder where I've collected all the application and software we uh, need to get this routing process I'll have a link to it in the description below pretty much I've got super user uh, to push onto the, the, the device after the uh, device has S off revolutionary uh, the software we were just on that website uh, I've got team wins recovery because I don't want to use clockwork and uh, this is the ROM we're going to be installing it's Android Revolution HD Sensation 3.6.1 so we're going to start off by unzipping Revolutionary. We're just going to extract the files onto the desktop. Now I will say that you do have to have the SDK, the Android SDK, installed on your computer before starting this. It just needs access to the drivers in order to access your phone and communicate with it properly. So as we wait for this, this is the device we're going to be rooting will show you that it's uh, stock Android at the moment. St uh, stock as in Sense UI. Unrooted. Unrooted, right. Uh, where would you go? Uh, Google. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, software information. Okay. It's running 2.3.4 and Sense version 3.0. Yeah, so it's completely stock. We didn't even mess with this yet. I mean, HTC kernel, as you guys can see there, hopefully the camera will focus here in a second. Takes a little bit. Anyway, that's not really important at the moment. <laughs> Alright, and uh, just to show you guys that this is indeed um, S on at the moment, I'm going to power it off. So in order to get into the bootloader, like I said earlier for the HBoot version, I have to press down the power button and the, and the volume down at the same time and hold it for about uh, three four seconds maybe a little bit longer there we go you can see the uh, bootloader version right here uh, but we're, what we're really looking on is the S on it says it right there so the security is actually enabled we're not able to push anything onto the device at this moment now going back to I'm going to go ahead and power it down here. All right, so let's pick up where we were at. We're going to open up Revolutionary with the cell phone off. Uh, something you can do while this is happening, though, is uh, turn on your phone. And I'm already there, but let me just track, backtrack here just a second. Go to Menu, Settings, Applications, uh, Development. Make sure USB debugging is checked. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go back to the home menu. 
set the phone down, start up revolutionary. Now wherever you extract it, it has to have all these other files along with it. I should have kept it in a folder because it's messy now, but just make sure that all these .dll files are along with the actual .exe. They're just as important. Application will start up and prompt you uh, to connect the device, so that's what you want to do at this point. Just plug in the USB here. Okay, so there you can see uh, this is a beta release and requires a beta release key. Please visit uh, the website for more information. Enter beta key, serial number, and that's pretty much our serial number. So at this point you pull up the uh, browser that we had open, go into where you, you pasted your serial key, go ahead and copy that. Go back into the revolutionary program and I think you've got to right click up here on the little uh, tab where it's got the program listed and go to edit and then paste and then press enter it says uh, it is starting the root this might take a minute or so and it will it'll restart your phone at least four times I believe before you actually see S off uh, but here just lists some details HCC Sensation 4G Pyramid and then the HBoot version the version of Android you're using uh, the ROM version and pretty much it's just a sit and wait game after this alright guys we're back the phone is now restarted uh, four times you can see up here uh, by the progress it says waiting for fast boot that was the first time second time then it says again third time yet again fourth time yet once more and if you can see down here on the actual screen at the top of the screen it says S off and it says revolutionary up at the top so at this point you're going to be prompted by a revolutionary uh, if you want a flash clockwork mod uh, recovery I usually say no just because I think team wins is better so let's just go ahead and click N here enter not flashing recovery we advise that you manually flash a recovery over fast boot so now we're going to close out of everything Alright, so we pulled out the battery. We're just simply restarting the phone. We're going to connect the USB uh, cord and we're going to push the uh, image onto the root of the SD card. And pretty much the image is just the Team Win recovery installation. Um, as soon as we boot back into recovery, the uh, bootloader will recognize that there's an image on the root and then it'll immediately ask us to flash it. So. Um, I've got the image here. It'll be worded uh, PG58 image. Um, you need to leave it as a zip. I'm just going to transfer it to the to the uh, desktop for easy. Like I said, just moving. connect the USB to the device. You'll get prompted up here in the notification menu. Okay, so you're going to want to select disk drive instead of charge. Click done. And then you'll see a window pop up on the screen. All right, here you go. So you're going to click on open folder to view files using Window Explorer. And this is the root of your SD card pretty much. So you're going to want to transfer the file, the image file straight onto there, not into any other folder. So when you drag and drop, drop it on on one of these single files instead of dropping it inside of a folder. That way you can guarantee that it will stay on the top. And here it is. It's finished transferring. We're going to close this really quick, disconnect the cord, tell our phone that we want to turn off. Don't restart, just turn off. Sorry. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen that was uh, <laughs> the housekeeping lady <laughs> telling us that she'll come by later. <laughs> we really are at the Android barbecue. We're about to head out in the next hour or so, maybe less, for our first session. And we're just stopping what we're doing and doing this so you guys know what you're doing when you get into this. Alright, the phone is now completely off. Uh, boot into the bootloader, so power down, volume down, hold it. Four or five seconds. 
there we go. Immediately it's going to recognize that there's an image file. Do you want to start the update? Volume up is yes, and yes you do want to. Update is in progress. Do not power off the device. Update complete. Great. Okay, so we're going to press the power button to reboot. We've now rebooted the phone. We're going to do the exact same thing. Plug in the USB. Wait to be prompted. Here we go. Mount the disk drive. And wait for the window. Alright, open up the folder. And then just look for that file. There it is. So just right click delete. And while we're here, we're going to go ahead and push uh, super user, which is also in this little file that um, I'll include in the description below. So this is a super user. I'm going to push to it version 2.3.6.3, signed. Um, and, but I know there's a, another version out. It'll update itself once you actually have it on the phone. So don't worry about that. And that is the last thing we'll need. Uh, if you want to install a ROM, like I said, our ROM of choice uh, that we're going to try out for the first time is this Android Revolution. So we might as well just toss it in here on the SD card as well, so we don't have to keep restarting and uh, mounting the drive. And so they're now finished transferring. Exit out, unplug the device, and power down. Again, you want to make sure to power off, not restart. <coughs> so now hold down, volume down, and power button. Wait a second. Okay, didn't find an image, so now go down to recovery. Press the power button. By the way, you scroll with the uh, up and down arrow. And here we go, Team Win Recovery is now installed. You've got everything you need <clears throat> to push over any uh, kernels, any ROMs, uh, pretty much anything that you'd want any mods to your uh, to your phone now. We're going to go to install zip and go ahead and root it while we're at it. We're going to go to uh, choose zip to flash. SU super user pretty much. We're going to select that one. You select using the power button. And apparently there was an error in the package so we're going to have to download a newer uh, version of super All right, guys. user. So we just decided to take the easy way out and download super user from the Android market. Um, after you do that and install it, then I'd also suggest downloading um, uh, Root Checker. So start that up, verify root. Obviously, if you get this window, then you've, you've rooted successfully. So congratulations, you have root access. You are now rooted and able to install ROMs. Um, I'm going to walk you through the last little step of installing a ROM to power off. And we're actually not going to show you the end results, we're just going to get it started because we've got a um, session to catch and we haven't eaten breakfast. So, yeah, we are <clears throat> all right, device is powered off, same thing, <clears throat> wait for it, recovery, install zip, choose zip to flash, Android Revolution HD Sensation ROM installing from the SD card. And that's it guys, so pretty much the ROM is installing. It might take up to 10-15 minutes, just depending on the size. But you are now rooted and ready to install. Alright, thanks a lot guys for watching.